guys, I just kind of wanted to do a get ready with me video. I'm sorry my skin kind of looks like this right now. Um, I've been <laughs> traveling and living in different places. I uh, We just moved here to Walla Walla and yeah, this side's not so bad, but this side, ugh, and my lips. <clears throat> just all the different water and the weather and just being tired from different time zones, so <laughs> bear with my ugly skin. So what I'm going to do first is I already put my eye fast response on just because I woke up and my eyes looked like shit. So then what I do is I have been using this Hourglass Mineral Veil primer for my face and I really, really love it. Um, it's oil free and then it's like vegan. So it's a great product. I'm waiting to see the results that I really want from it. Um, but I think it's just everything. So what I've been using lately for foundation, I have really, really oily, acne-prone skin. I'm very sensitive. And I've been using this Immaculate Hourglass Foundation. And it's probably the best foundation that I've used thus far. I really don't have to touch up my skin that much. And I like that. I get so oily throughout the day. I usually buy Blot Film Studio Fix Powder. So this is really nice. I think the hardest part for me was finding the right shade. I tried like four different ones. And this shade is ivory. And you do have to work pretty fast with this product. It's not one that you can just blot around or use a beauty blender with because it dries so fast. And this is also oil-free, non-comedogenic. So now that I have my foundation on the way that I want it, I go ahead and I set it with a powder. And this is my holy grail of powders. I've never found a better powder than this. The shade C3. And I do use the sponge for this, but I buy like 20 sponges and I switch them out like every two weeks, so. Don't worry, I'm just a germaphobe. It is really good to switch out your powder sponges though, because and foundation sponges, just because they do build up so much bacteria on them. It's so unsanitary to put that back onto your face so many times when it's already got this all junk build up in it. So I'm kind of just patting it into my skin first. Sometimes I'll use my kabuki brush to apply my powder, but for today, I just will not use the powder. What I've been using recently for my bronzer is I bought this palette off of MacCosmetics.com, and then you can buy these little inserts to put in your palettes. I have like three palettes of blush. It's kind of insane. Anyways, I need to like rearrange this palette, but I use Blunt, which is this really dark kind of like espresso color <laughs> you could call it that and then I just use my I think this is the 167 brush from MAC I really do like this brush it's probably my favorite bronzing brushes so then I'm just packing the color on and starting from my hairline and just buffing it into that bone. I'm going to go ahead and add some blush now that I have my bronzer on. And I'm using that and I'm using that same palette and I like to use my Pro Longwear blushes from MAC Cosmetics. I have a few different ones. Um, this one's Stay Pretty and then this one's like Peony Petal. This one down here. I really, really like that one. So that's the one I'm going to be using today. And I just have a 129 short handled brush. Cool. <clears throat> so then, what I'm going to do next is my eyebrows, and I'm going to contour. I like my to nose. use a really stiff angled brush um, for my brows. This one's from Sephora. And I just start from the base of my brow and kind of just sweep it 
across the actual hairline of my brow. Okay, so now that I just have the color on, I do go in with a brow pencil and I like to use Lingering from MAC Cosmetics and it just has this little twisty thing on it and I go in and I start from the bottom, kind of like outline my brow and this will give you more definition. So of course I'm going to prime my eye with a MAC paint pot. You can use Painterly Soft Ochre. This one I just had from last Christmas and it's called Utterly Becoming and I still have a third left. And I like this because it's really similar to Painterly Paint Pot. It's just a really neutral base color and it's matte. So I'm just going to put that on all over. My eye. So then next, I'm going to do my brow highlight, and I always, almost always, use Nylon from MAC Cosmetics. And I just use a short handled, a 227 brush, um, because it works the best with my eye shape. And I'll go back in, and just kind of get closer to the brow with my 224, and then I also add it right into my highlight my tear duct. I'm going to add a really cute light pink color this is just for my palette but this color is called yogurt or 242 brush and I'm just gonna pack it on my I'm gonna add my transition color into my crease so it all kind of fades and blends together so I'm using Brown Script from MAC Cosmetics, and I'm just going to use my MAC brush. This is the 286 Mineralized brush that I'll be using in my crease. So I'm just doing really small circular motions on the outer corner, and then kind of give this look a little oomph, is I'm going to get right under my eye line here and I'm going to use just a shadow and kind of smoke that shadow into my lash line and I'm using the 214 brush which is a really short stiff brush for that area. I'm just gonna kind of push it into my lash line. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to add that same carbon Eyeshadow from MAC Cosmetics, and I'm going to put that into my crease, and I'm going to use a 217 fluffy brush that's stiff from MAC Cosmetics, and I will just kind of push it into the eye first. Push the product in. I'm going to do a dark brown too, you don't have to do black. Okay, so then my next step is going to be a gel liner that I'm going to make like a really pretty cat eye with. Um, I'm just using my 263 brush from MAC Cosmetics. It's a great angled brush that you can buy in line. And then I'm just using Black Track Fluid Line from MAC Cosmetics. So I coat both sides of my brush. I'll start from the outer side and just kind of make a triangle. And what I do is I go to the bottom of the triangle and meet it. And then I'll do the inner side. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add my Prep and Prime Lash and then I'm going to put on my mascara. So I like to use the MAC Prep and Prime Lash. Um, it's really great for conditioning your lashes and helping them to further my grow. mascara I'm using the Studio Sculpt Lash from MAC Cosmetics. It's a great mascara. It has this little comb brush on it, so it allows you to get a really naturally buildable lash without it being I'm so I'm using clumpy. the 34 eyelashes from MAC Cosmetics. They're the really long, wispy, butterfly-like lashes. And I just break a Q-tip in half, and I put the lash glue onto a tissue. And I just dip that glue, dip my little Q-tip into the glue, 
And then I just really, not too heavily, apply the glue on the band. And then I kind of just let that glue just kind of get tacky. Okay, matching something. up the inner corners, what you can do is you can get an angled brush and just kind of push it into the lash line. I'm going to do lips and I really want to do just a really kind of like neutral color for fall and winter. Um, so I'm using Sore Lip Liner from MAC Cosmetics and I'm going to just outline my lips. And then I'm going to use a lipstick from MAC Cosmetics. It's called High Strung. Okay, so now what you can do is you can go back in and kind of like conceal um, if there was any foliage from the eyeshadow or just around your lips. I'm going to do that and I'm using the Instant Age Rewind. And this is from Maybelline Cosmetics, New York. And I like it because this is so squishy ball on the end, so... I just, I'm gonna just kind of click it a little bit. Okay, so that's what it should look like afterwards, after you kind of like concealed and everything. It just kind of cleans up all the lines. So then you don't got like. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and I did use the 287 concealer brush, Mineralize from MAC, to kind of buff out my concealer. Um, you could put gloss over this if you wanted to. I feel like I've got a lot of product on there already that I don't really need any more product. The hair thing. I already sprayed my hair this morning with all my heat protectant so I got the straightener from Ulta yeah. and it's the Infinity Pro Con Air and I really love it, it was like 75 bucks and what's cool is like Ulta offers so many coupons and discount codes so like you could just type in on Google um, Ulta coupon, online coupon codes or any type of codes and they'll just pop up right in your browser and then there's also a great thing called Retail Me Not, which is an app that you can put on your phone. And it will send you so many different coupons that you can use in different stores. And you can put your favorites list and all that. straightened and it looks beautimous. It's all long. It looks so much better than it did earlier. Voila. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my video and I hope you enjoyed getting ready with me. So have a wonderful day and a happy holidays. Don't forget to subscribe and like my page.